Yep. Welcome to the All Nighter, where where me and Brian stay up for what twenty four hours now and 20, try and do podcast. Twenty four hours awake, get a podcast coming, and today we have our special guest on our first episode. We'd like to introduce everyone to our man here, Adrian Velez. So Adrian has been making some noise across campus. Uh, you grab that paper for us, Colt. <laughs> so it's, uh, Adrian, Adrian Velez that. here. We got him. Front page news. Notably for uh, this controversial artwork that seemed to went, uh, go viral like, just a little bit. And so like, we're going to have Adrian on. We're going to talk a little bit about the artwork. And we're going to see a little bit you know, about the perspective and like, what, what led you to doing like, that work. So before we like, jump into it like, a little bit too much, like, why don't you tell us like, a little bit about yourself, like where you're from. Uh, and, like, do you wanna, let's first say what the, what the artwork says. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so let's first let's talk about... What happened? Um, the what was the thing that pissed people off? What is the, what is the phrase? Yeah, what did what did what did you do? Kill cops. So it says kill cops. Yeah. So when I heard about this, I was like, so the first thing I heard was that some kid put up an art piece in the main campus center of the college, and it says kill cops on it. Someone from Meadville saw it. They went on the Facebook or something, and all of a sudden it blew up. Everyone's saying like this kid at Allegheny College is like condoning killing cops people at allegheny think killing cops is okay and so there's this huge outrage over over this piece and i was pissed off at, like pissed off about it at first too and then oh. i heard that you were the one who made it so immediately i was like there's no way this man yeah, nah. is condoning killing cops and mm. so the the whole thing it says we'll probably throw a picture but it says clap thoughts kill cops and it's just whole mural. Like, it really looks like... Triptych. Like, graffiti yeah, to me. Like, word. a bunch of people yeah. added to it. looks like an urban graffiti scene. Yeah, yeah. No, and on sure. the Facebook thing, all they showed was the kill cops part. Yeah, they had a lot oh, of people. Oh, yeah. I think they had a lot of people thinking that that was, like, the only piece of the work. Is there something that just sat there that said just, like, kill cops? But I... Th- well, I, yeah. So no, give, us some, yeah. give us some background. Like, what led up to this piece? Like, what have you done in the past? Oh, What's you, your background? You can't ask an artist that question or any, like person that just makes shit i feel like because like i i make what i make in like in the moment i feel like because um i kind of you know I, well there's just so many layers to this it's like let me unpack them that's all you know well let's, i mean let me first got, I mean, let me what you gotta say. yeah like let me start off by saying like i'm originally from new york city like born and raised and um my parents were also born and raised in new york city both of them are, are artists as well um, DNA. Fucking, DNA. you know, I swear, like, it was, uh, I had a genetic predisposition, <laughs> as they would say. And, um, you know, I didn't want to do art at all, because, you know, I, that was, I lived a life with my parents, you know, that was very, it was normal to me, obviously. I was their only child between the two of them. Um, and, like, I just grew up, like, listening to all types of music. You know, I grew up in the city, I saw all different types of people. Like, that shit was just natural to me, you know what I mean? Like, that's just... You know, not everything was pretty, like, that's just life, but, you know, the, at least there was some, like, not just tolerance, but, like, understanding of, like, everyone's just trying to grind out here. Like, everyone's just trying to, like, work out here. And, um, you know, coming out of that, like, I came from a moderately, like, you know, middle class background, you know, for New York City standards, which is still, you know, in comparison. Right. But, um, you know, still, like, it's super expensive over there. And so my parents got divorced. And, you know, I ended up, you know, staying with my mother. And she was really, like, involved in the art scene in New York. Like, she knows, like, mad, like, uh, heads back there that are, like, kind of influential, who I've gotten to work with this, like, past summer uh, as a studio assistant, making the pieces for the artist and really getting in, getting in there. And, you know, I'm not just some, you know, person like anyone like anyone can make art you know right. i'm not going to deny that you know and in terms of good or bad you know that's also subjective cuz art is a, a subjective thing um but i'm not coming from a place of ignorance when i make my work <laughs> i'm definitely coming from like i'm i'm thinking intentionally about what i make and i am aware of like what i'm putting down when i make it um you know but it's not for no reason Right. Obviously, there's a history behind why in graffiti culture in inner cities where, you know, obviously people of color, such as myself, like, uh, historically have been, you know, bullied 
as like almost like the cops were like gangsters in New York, you know what I mean? In other inner cities, especially don't even get me started with the LA PD. Exactly. So um, that, you know, kind of silent protest or like, you know, I guess um, the idea of sil being silent and just assimilating and expecting to progress in society when the, you know there's barriers there that will not be broken down unless you break them, like creates this kind of resentment or like reactance towards like the violence. It's like if nothing's going to work except for violence, then of course we have to arm ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not, I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying, historically speaking, that's where kill cops and graffiti culture You're comes from. You're scaring me there for a second. Yeah, no. It sounds like, like that's, and like people have done that. And that's the history of that. That's but, why. But they feel like there's silence. They need. Not just silence, but there's just, there's no justice. Like yeah. that's just a fact. Yeah. Like historically speaking. Um, and it's still happening today. That's the problem. People think like they don't want to speak on these issues at all because they feel like they're not as prevalent or happening. Um, I feel like they're happening more now. Oh, like, yeah, no, 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 most definitely. Because, because there's reactance from, you know, people feel like uh, I could get into I'm also, people don't know this, about, I'm a pol political science minor. So I'm mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. from, exactly, I'm talking <laughs> from a background of like not just an abstract way of thinking, which is like clearly I like to do that because, you know, I'm trying to make that my vocation. But I'm also understanding through the lens of the system that I'm, I'm inside of that I know was faulty. So you have to learn the language and jargon in order to like combat the structure that's meant to keep you in place. So you got to understand the system to break it, understand the rules and technical skills to like, you know, talk more upon that. So I know I'm rambling on a lot, no, but um, I was a drawer before I came here. I wasn't even an art major when I came here. I was an econ and psych double major. And um, I did art as a minor for fun. You know, like I was like, I, you know, might as well. Yeah. Um, if it weren't for Stephen Prince, I wouldn't be uh, and his son, EJ Prince, you know, shout out to him. He was a great, you know, friend of mine. He really told me to take my art seriously for once, but I was too, you know, I was Who a was freshman. The um, professor? The, the professor, Stephen Prince, is the father of a student named e okay. Elijah Prince. And he was really good at art. And he was a junior when I was a freshman, I believe. Have either of them commented on the piece? Oh, I see, you know, I, the thing is that this, I, so to me, this is kind of like, meta and hysterical to me because people are reacting to uh totally taken out of context like image but that's news for you today though yeah that's the, that's how that's how they spin oh yeah no of course of course and it's like okay well then like for me like i don't care about anything but making stuff you know what I mean? I just like to make and understand how to make things look better and like what I'm trying to convey a message or, but I'm, I still haven't even mentioned this fact is that I, I, I was a drawer and I did painting my sophomore year and I hated painting the first couple of times, but then I ended up falling in love with it and it became my passion. And from sophomore year until, you know, the beginning of this semester, you know what I mean? I've been painting like heavy and like I've done like very like technical high figurative works. I've done like, you know, portraitures that are pretty realistic and, you know, some other stuff. But, you know, over time, like with anyone, you want to break the, the technical stuff yeah. and the structure. So you just do some just expressive some stuff. And you look at other artists that you like, you know, I like how they do this. Like I can layer that and that. Just so was this, was this experimental? Um, well, for, well, this is, see, as an artist, um, or just like a creator of things for me understanding myself is like just making without expecting th this is for anyone if you're trying to be creative just and make it good you just have to keep on making shit you know what I mean like you don't you can't expect it to always be good and that was like you know something that some people had to face when they came to college you know what I mean like you're not going to be the best all the time right. you know what I mean you just got to it's about work ethic and you know situations you know what I mean well, um, that's a good point, bro. That is a great Same point. thing with music. Like, yeah, no, for music sure. And yeah. Film, when I write video, music, bro, I don't expect stuff. anything to turn out good. I'll just sit there for hours. Because you, you, because you care about the craft. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's that's what matters. Enjoy, you enjoy doing it. It's not about the outcome. It's about the being process. there in the moment. Yeah. All about the process. And doing what you love. Doing. Yeah, no, these, uh, so, and I mentioned, I'm sure uh, whoever's read this or whatever, um, that I talk about how these pieces were um, done uh, actually at my house. So not even in the campus center, mm -hmm. right? The people don't know that. I like to do a lot of my artwork in the house with my friends who, so, you know, these three pieces right here 
were done with a, uh, another student of mine, not a student, another man, um, who's also a close friend, and he's also from an inner city. Um, and so we both were like, we vibe off each other with art, and we just had ideas of doing. So these canvases actually were stowed away in the back um, of the uh, art department. And like, so these pieces haven't been touched for like 10 years. Like they were just left alone, abandoned, right? Wait, what do you mean? Like peop they were finished pieces, so. And you, drew, you did stuff on top of them? Yeah. Okay. And so. So what? What all was yours? Just the the words? No, no, no. You, you see, added a lot. I that's the point. And so I'm getting to there. So I thought of the idea of like you know, kind of just using the world as my framework rather than trying to you know invest in things. Like there's already things around me I can make shit out of that's dope. You right. know what I mean? And I can talk about it and I have a meaning about it because I mean it. Um, and I have a lot to say, obviously. Um, and for these pieces in particular, like the idea for me was like about there's already an ingrained like story in front of me, you know what I mean? And they're very they were very monochromatic and figurative, so very bland, you know what I mean? In terms of like there's not too much intensity, and the city scene right is like really loud, vibrant, colorful, um, yeah. colorful multi-layered, which is like that's the whole point is layering compositions over and over again because there's various stories to the point where you can't really distinguish what was the beginning. Or how what was what was a clear picture, you know what I mean? So um the way I organize the color, it's like all color theory and textured based to give like that sheer juxtaposition to like the difference of like the the original pieces, which you can see, which is the suit. Uh the only thing that was added to that was boxing it out with different paint to give this illusion. Okay. To, it's to, very loud. Oh yeah, no, that's the point. It's supposed to be an uh, a loud eye catching um in your face. composition. Yeah. Very in your face. Yeah. Um I know I'm talking a lot. Um, no, you're good. Get your story out. Uh, so, you know, we we were doing a wordplay and how, um, you know, like we were listening to a lot of Young Thug and <laughs> obviously like. So these are things that people, like when I saw this, I pictured this is stuff people actually graffiti, like shit you saw in New York City. Oh no, bro! Things that people say. I mean, in New York are, City, you've seen crazy. I oh yeah, yeah nah. I, beyond I, just like something. Oh yeah, no, like bro. Like this, like that's what I mean. Everyone in the art department, obviously, like we're all artists. We know that's not like a like. We know that's not. We're not trying to say prop. Or we're not propagating yeah. like you know. There's no propaganda going on here. We're I not would, saying go kill cops. Nah, it's like. So they responded to it a little bit differently than like the greater public. I think. No. I mean, like of course the art department did. One of the things that I wanted to ask you was. I think that, that the audience that ended up like consuming this work and like viewing this work was an audience that maybe yeah, wasn't the like greatest in like their you know, oh, no. in their ability, I already, like, the no, ability like, to like read and like understand yeah. the art for like what it is. And I think that a lot of like the message like got lost in that and a lot of it was just like taken for just like well, the words that are like on the piece. I well, think it's the way they present it too. They well, didn't get all the information. No, yeah. no, well not just that. See, this is the thing, is that okay, so I was located in so this is the kicker. This is why this is so complicated. Is that I did these pieces in a weekend, right? Like all three of them within like I think Saturday. Mm -hmm. Like I just got you know I had a fun time with my friends. Woke up and was like let's do some art since we we're not doing any work. And then we got some shit done and then we had a good time that night. And then Monday I came up, I was like, I have a large studio space and it was in the in the you know how you walk through in the second floor. To and get there's into all the those art. pieces. There's a yeah. big gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Like, um, so, like, have you ever walked, like, next to GFC and, yeah, like, into you the... Yeah, along the right. Yeah. And then you go into the double doors. Yeah, uh, there's all that art in there. Yeah. So, like, in the box, like, that, all, that, all that art was mine. Really? So, yeah. All that's that, all that, yours. That's all mine. And wow, I had to... put it with some work. Bro, that's what I'm saying. People don't even understand. <laughs> like, I had, this, this shit took... Yeah, I'm getting... Not, like... Like, this is nothing compared to your other work. This, and it's this the shit, thing that blew up. This is and the, and it's because and that's sad because it's basically we know what we were doing. It's it's clickbait for people that you know don't feel comfortable with that situation blue or just lives matter. yeah blue and it's like it's it's uh and see this, this is where it gets to me is they're more concerned with you know an art piece in my studio space, which of course they didn't explain that and they didn't understand that. All right, that's fine. But it's still an art piece right. that's a commentary on, you know, and it's not even the focal, like, it's not written in a way that's, to, you know, influence someone to that extent, like, do this. Like, there's ways to make, that's what propaganda is, it's artwork. Yeah. Like, I could execute that easily. This is not meant to do that. This is just, uh, it's just funny how people take words in 
and it completely oh, yeah, takes yeah. away everything else. But they're more concerned about a piece of artwork hung by a student who they know is not going to go out downtown in a conservative every area trying to start shit, you know? Right. Um, yeah, what's more fucked up is that it was in your space. Oh, yeah. It was in his art space where he hangs his How stuff. How did this, like, even, like, come to be a thing? Because like, we, we've this heard is, this so is, many no. rumors. Like, we've heard that it was, like, a Prosby and, like, their parents, like, took a picture well, that, of that, that, is, that, is that, that, that the shit. Well, that, that's one of the people. I know there was two, and if, there were two, uh, you know, women of, you know, they were both white women, of course, like, um, and they were heated over this and you know i'm sure as an institution your main focus is to save face and make sure you continue to have you cause the school a pr nightmare yeah we should talk about that i want to know yeah. what the school said to you oh dude Bro, i dude, got the scoop the on that shit for you like i feel no. like the, i feel like the school like kind of left you out there to dry i was seeing some of the comments that the local fraternal order of police were putting up and there's people commenting saying like disgusting Saw plenty of death threats on there. Like, this kid deserves Bruh. to be shot. This kid needs okay. this. This kid <laughs> like, needs that. You're just I'm just like, damn, just, all you did was make a painting. Bro, right? And then, then there's still, and then they talk about how this is hate speech is counter to, like, you know, you're saying this, this, and that. And it's the like, bro. said that. No, 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 no. Okay, like, okay. the, you know, people, I, and the thing, luckily I don't have Facebook because I don't give a fuck about that shit. You right. know what I mean? Like, I, I, that's not reality. And to them, it is. And because they don't have to go beyond really interacting because they don't want to do that. That's the point. They get to yell from a distance. And it's because they don't want to change the perception through interaction. And that, that's where we're getting at. They don't want to have a conversation with no. you. They'd rather talk at and you. And see, that was, that was something that I was, you know, after I made all these three, I was like, you know, that's kind of, you know, that's pretty dope. And, like, I'm not thinking it's a big deal because it's artwork. And I'm sure if someone makes it a big deal and is, like, f f questioning why, why don't you? I was sitting in the space when I've, I've seen security officers in Allegheny, and I'm sure custodian workers that have looked at the work, you know, they would look at it, and they look at me, and they would put two, two together, so they're like, oh, he must be violent. You know, that's just the perpetuated image of men of color. You know what I mean? And it's like, you must want to, like, kill cops. You know what I mean? You're like, he writ it, he, he's written it. It's Did employees say anything? Uh, I, I saw in the paper that employees complained and wanted to take it down. But see, they never talked to me about it. Well, why would they? They don't want to come up to you and make a confrontation. No, but see, they could have been civil about it. And even if they were upset, like, you know, tell me, you want me to take that down? And I would say, like, why? See, Explain the art. Yeah. Which yeah. I don't even think you had to, honestly. No, no and it's taken so and the, out of context. No, and the thing is that these, this is what I'm so getting at right now. Like, I'm, I crank out so much work, like, daily. Like, I just came back from the studio, like, not too long ago. Like, I've been up, like I said, like, for the past, like, like past 24 hours. And it, it's because I like doing what I do. And, like, that shit was not... Like, it was in my space, you know what I mean? It was considered a public area, but mm -hmm. that's they've had students work in that area years and years and years prior, and it wasn't a problem, you know what I mean? And there's been worse stuff done on this campus, like, through artwork that's actually kind of, like, fucked up. You, and got, you, got any, you got any name drops? Not nah, name nah, drops, nah. but some of the art. Well, this, like, and so there was this you know, fucked up shit, like, where this person was doing the seven deadly sins or whatever, but mm -hmm. he was doing them with all men of color. Like, like all black men. Was he, was he a man of color? Nope. Of course not. Could he only draw, like, stick figures and... Was he drawing a bunch of niggas with red-ass lips and shit? Oh, I wasn't here. And Did that cause a controversy? Probably not, not. Probably not. Probably not like this. No, not like this. Probably not like this. No, no, definitely not. And, you know, and it's pretty obvious why you know what i mean i'm not i'm not the color bodies don't matter <laughs> he might not even thought about it to be honest Nah. because a lot of people don't think in content nah, i'm sure you I, think about that oh yeah because i have to that's all i do you yeah. know what i mean i have to think like deeply because i'm the the fact that i'm able to like make shit and make people think is that like for me there's a moral obligation to at least execute it if i'm trying to say anything execute it well if i'm not trying to say anything like then what's the point of doing the artwork? Yeah. If you're just going to make, like, an empty statement and not try to, you know, garner some type of emotion, like, nobody, you don't want to make an empty artwork. But I think you achieve the main goal here, like, as an artist and like, starting conversation, making yeah. people feel things. I mean, honestly, this is, like, fine. Like, I'm not a, like, I don't give a fuck about the death, death threats. I know they're not going to do shit. Like, 
honestly, that's why so you're here. So, so that is confirmed, like that. So, like you have you personally like received like the death threats? Oh. I, mean, I know I've seen them like broadly, like on like you know line. I've seen like people saying no. Like, they don't. They don't know who I am. They don't know any like contact information. I'm sure th this is what I'm getting at, though. Is that like I've said this, and this was before like a lot of complaints. I like they had security guards literally walk up to the thing, look at it, be upset, like make a noise. And then I'm hey, doing my work. There? I'm not standing I'm sitting at my desk, which is still in that same space. Yeah. And I'm like waiting for him to say something. Like I stopped writing. And like, you know, he looks back for half a second and he just walks away frustratingly. And I'm like, I'm not even like, he's a grown adult. You know what I mean? This is a grown man. You are too, bro. I know. You got to rest for grown men now. No, I know. But you know, but I'm, fuck, I'm not even 21, dude. Yeah, that's true. He ain't grown. You still go to jail. Yeah, he can't drink. He I can't grow. even fucking drink legally. Yeah, he can't legally drink. He's not grown. <laughs> not in the U.S. anyway. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, that just, that's what, you know, it just shows the insecurity of, like, shaking people's reality. Like, right. this town, like, is obviously, they, they don't want anything to change because it's flowing the way it is, you know what I mean? And... That's that's all conservatives, bro. Oh, Even yeah. some liberals, I feel like, are like that. Absolutely, it's so no, bipolar yeah. in their opinions. It's yeah, terrible. no, and that's the problem. Is like people are so easy to manipulate nowadays because information is being like. That's the point. Is this that exact thing was manipulated. no, and that's and this is like the thing is like this has to deal with clickbait because it's so meta because it's the fact that we're so desensitized that I had to put let like words like captions like short like that's what everything is is fast intakes of dopamine. You know what I mean? So it's like. The colors are vibrant, you know, the words are, they rhyme. They're explosive. Yeah, clap thoughts, kill cops, you know what I mean? And you could reverse them too. People don't even know about that. The reason, why, the origins is that it's also a reversal. Thoughts clap. Cops kill. That's where it stems from, you feel me? Like, and they play off That's of each other. That's interesting, actually. That is interesting. So, yeah, let's just go into, like, that, like, you said, like, you know, there's a lot that, you know, inspired the work that, like, came into it. Like, you pulled from, like, you know, your life living in the city, if you're just from doing multiple, like, artworks, being politically conscious, being, you know, an, an art student, you know, just coming into that, you know, as a, a student here. What were you specifically trying to, like, say with this piece? If you could tell all those people who are wishing you death on the Internet, what is it that you want to say that this message you know, in this artwork is intended to convey. Like, what is this piece saying? Before we go into that, too, I could see why this can be taken the wrong way. Oh, yeah. No, I, mean, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think we need to understand. I don't want to be too one-sided on the show because, I mean, we're really supposed to, like, me and you are definitely, we have open opinions. Like, we understand mm. the other side. Yeah. And I can understand why this can be taken the wrong oh, way. Oh, and I understand, too. And, like, but that's the thing is, like, if it's, like, that damaging to your psyche, like, question yourself why. Like, Bro, that is a strong statement that is, that is kill different. cops bro. oh yeah no for sure and it's like but see the problem is that is that more of a problem than cops actually killing people yes i would 100 percent say yes you, you should not go out and kill a cop bro you shouldn't kill bro. cops but i mean they're killing cops, us yeah yes. but cops shouldn't kill niggas either like just or, because or, yeah, or, or, like, or anyone I mean? anyone, no, anyone that's black. just not white Right, that's like, what I mean. Like, like, that's I'm what not, I'm, but I'm not. I'm not gonna sit up here. I'm not gonna like act like saying. Like, I'm not gonna say like, yeah, like the killing cop shit. Like, no, that's not. That's like okay. I that's like again. I'm not right. saying like, you know, I'm not saying like go promote that. Like, yeah, I want like if if this is the one thing that's really bothering you, out of and clearly there's a lot more context I want to hear. If this is the thing that you're hyper focusing on, and you want to have an argument about it, what yeah. does that say about you? The, and the then, thing is, bro, people really say that. P there's people that actually advocate. Get rid of cops, kill cops. And where's that? But where's that coming from? I'm not saying that they're right, but where's that coming from? Is my, you know, my question. Where is it coming? It's coming from, I mean, people like us that don't like violence against men of color, mm -hmm. but they they take the wrong stance on how to how to but stop. But see, it. like like I said though, like this is again, the statement is coming. This again, people don't mm -hmm. have this context. It's coming from graffiti culture. That's how I during. Took it. Yeah. Then that's what it is, and it's like, and even. If I didn't explain that, you know, it still doesn't, this is the thing that people should be more upset about. Like, okay, yeah, the statement may be crass, but there's so much worse things that have happened on the other spectrum, you know what I mean? And that is actually happening, and then that's not even being discussed. And if you're really going to be that moved about an undergrad's work I that I did in a weekend. If I took it out of context, I would 100% be, I was kind of pissed at it too, because yeah. I didn't realize the whole context. 
But like well, you, have to, you have to, you have to, you have to see. You have tell to tell me, like, tell, tell us the context. Like, tell us like what it was that you're like trying to communicate here. Well, see, this was peace for just me and my friend. We were reacting. This is my thing. We were reacting, so we were taking an art history course, right? Currently, on contemporary modern art. You know, we were looking at the Whitney Biennial, which is in New York. Um, can we look that up? Yeah, you can. Yeah, no, okay. for sure. It's uh, the Whitney Biennial, Dana Schutz, and she basically is a white woman. She decided to do an impressionist painting, which is gestural, not like high rendition. Very like, like basically what they would consider sloppy work. It's a rendition of that image, but it was the open casket of Emmett Till. Mm. Oh, damn. And the Whitney decided that it was a good idea to put in there. And she does not have the right to tell that story. That is the history of just racism in this country yeah. that is enforced and told to perpetuate in inner cities because that's where most people of color are. That's why like, a lot of people that don't live in the city don't see that. Don't see what? That that's a systematic thing, that they go into neighborhoods that are with majority people of color mm -hmm. and they fill their quotas because that's how they get, you know, I was like, we're not, there's less crime in this area, so we're not, we don't need as many cops. I need to keep my job. Let me start flaking. Oh, you're talking about cops, okay. Yeah. Okay. They go into the, yeah, bro, there's so many documentaries about no, that. No, oh yeah, and that's, a, really that's what I'm saying. And so, how are you going to ignore, like, this terribly oppressive gang that has been, not, and I'm not saying that every cop is doing this. I'm never saying that. Never. But I'm saying there is a power in being a part of, being an enforcer of the law. And if you're not doing justice, if you're actually doing the opposite of justice, who are you to trust? That's my question. Well, who are you, you to trust? Do you see the kind of people that can become cop? I mean, anyone can become a cop. My mom was a cop. My uncle was a cop, a dude. That says a lot. My uncle was no, a cop. No, that's my mom. That says a lot. <laughs> no, of course. No, I feel you. Dude, my uncle was a cop. Like, I love him to death. But he quit that vocation. You know what I mean? Because of what he was seeing in the city. Oh, he saw, he saw it. Bro, him. I saw it. I got assaulted by a cop. You know what I mean? I've been assaulted by a cop for no good reason. You ever seen the uh, the painting? It was similar to this work. Um, it reminds me. I wonder if you've like seen the artwork of Jean Michel Basquiat. You ever seen the irony wow. of the Negro policeman? You ever seen that artwork? Mm -hmm. That kind of this work kind of reminded me of that, uh, like like a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I've always thought that that's one of like the most like thought provoking like artworks that I've like ever seen. Just yeah. Because it's like crafted in such a like basic and simplistic way, but like the message. The message is, like, is taken. It yeah. It's so like you know, in depth and just like a, a uh, I mean, I don't even, I don't even know how to like necessarily like put it, but to, like it. to hear you say that, like you personally like witness and like were a victim, like firsthand of abuse or surviving like, you know, like abuses, you know, of like law enforcement. Let's check in. Bree, are we still recording? We're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I feel like that just like. And, and that's not to say that, again, I don't have an inherent hatred for cops. That's right. not what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is like, why is this worse? And to them, to the conservatives, right? Or to anyone that saying blue lives matter, why is my piece of artwork, because they keep on saying that on Facebook, right? Why do they keep on saying that this is worse and hate speech than what's actually, people are literally dying. People are literally dying if you kill a cop too, though. Like, but because, what, this I is not killing a cop. No, but what I'm saying, no. I'm not killing a cop with this action. And I'm not going to convince anyone to kill a cop with this action. This is not propaganda. That's the point. And it was, again, in my studio space. That's the whole point, is that this is not even close to as equal. You cannot, there's, it's impossible to say that they're on the same level. Because one is a systematic thing that cannot be comprehended unless you're in it. And the other is a position that you choose. You choose to be a cop. Yeah. You don't choose to be Latino. You don't choose to be black. You don't choose to be Asian. You don't choose to be white. Okay, let's back up real quick. I actually had Okay, when you, you were able a little bit, but let's talk about, okay, the piece, she had Emmett Till in the piece. Mm. What did you mean by it wasn't her right to include Emmett, Emmett Till in the piece? So, of course, this is after Emmett Till's mother dies. Who she... So, she's making money off of this cause. Well, so, let me get to that. So, this is the thing. She, and this is because I'm from New York City and because I know what, like, I know some people that I've, like, are with Alicia Keys and have sold pieces to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Like, I've been working with them. Like, I know these people. Like, these are people that are up and up in New York. People that are in the arts all talk to each other. They know what's hip. They know what's hot. 
they want to tell the stories of the marginalized groups now because it's it's a fad. And it's like Black Panther, why? Well, it's I think cool, Black no, it's cool to be woke, movie, but no, people no, are making yeah, money no, off like of it's this. cool to be woke. Yeah, no, no, that's like a, that's like a thing. Like, it's, yeah, I do feel like that. I do no, feel like to no. a certain extent, like it has become like very trendy to like want to be like. And and the thing is that if you're, this is the thing is like, oh, I want to talk about this issue. And even though if even if it was in a positive light, the thing is that she did not. Have, that's not. She could be making a commentary, right? Mm -hmm. But the whole thing is that that wasn't. You know, she's basically stripped. She whitewashed the whole issue because in her in her description of why she made the piece, right? She said two things that really stuck out to me, which was um, I was trying to empathize with the mother of Emmett Till. As, what, a, as, as, a as, a, as a mother, which okay. I understand from her, I can understand why she, she's saying that. And I, 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 understand, I respect that. Okay. But in saying that, you're taking away the issue originally, which was racism. Like she could have put any kid in a casket. Why did exactly. Until if it wasn't about race. Because, that's what I'm saying. Because she's such a, an icon against and so And she wasn't trying to speak on at all throughout the entire statement, her official statement at all, like trying to pick a side about like saying that, Police brutality is bad. She's like, I'm not trying to speak on the African American community. When you clearly painted, then why would you have an icon? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then she she did she would she didn't she didn't say initially when she put it in, like the Whitney, she did not say she wasn't gonna sell it. And it was only after all the controversy and hatred that she was like, it was not going up for sale. So, and so my the whole point was that just to empath empathize for her mother. That's the entire point of the piece. Yeah. And there was nothing about like and emphasized with a mother that lost her son because of this hatred it wasn't it wasn't like that it was just no just a mother lost her son that's what i'm saying and she doesn't comprehend the what? truth why even put that in there bro because people they oh don't understand God. that's the point they do not comprehend because they don't want to have a conversation and mm -hmm. that's the sadness of it all is because people think they know everything and they're fine to be confined in like their reality and that should just like i mean i can understand the appeal because it's easy but that shit ain't real dog like i can't fuck with that and the thing I keep, and the thing is, this shit is wild me out because I dead ass put this as like a decoration in my suit. Like I wasn't like, I just make my shit around me and look at it and like, okay, what worked? And then I work on the next piece. So this right, I was going to, I was the next question I was going to ask you was like, how does this thing fit into like your greater body of like work? Bro, so this like, shit's, this is shit's this not even like part of like what you like put in like your portfolio. Like it sounds like you said, this is it just decoration? Like just like some, something it was some, it was more of a memory of like, you know, a successful collaboration with another human being that was, and guess what? He was white. You know what I mean? But he, under, and he, and he, to be honest, if I could be honest, he was the one that wrote Kill Cops. But you're the one taking the flag. There's the hot take. You got the color kid <laughs> taking the flag. And then the white kid wrote uh, Kill Cops, clap dots on here. Ain't that some shit? Let me, oh, my God. And ain't nobody. He wasn't standing up because when I saw you on the news, I only saw you. you I, I saw you. I saw, I saw this man on the Erie News, and I saw his Yeezys, and I heard his voice. And I automatically knew it was him. Yeah. And then I saw the way that they were like, even though they had you framed on like Erie. So as soon as I went... Because I'm a part of this, so mm -hmm. I went in there and I was like, yo, we got to let this, we got to let this guy like talk. Like, we got to like let him just like say what he has to say to like yeah. the campus. And like, I think that this was like done like very thoroughly, but I wanted to, like, we wanted to give you a platform where you could like direct no, like no, address for sure. that Because I don't think you spoke about that in here. No, I can't. No, because no, there's can't, so, like, there's, the thing is that there's too much to talk about for, for, for people to really comprehend like that. Another thing too is that. No, nah, that's crazy though. Like that, that's crazy. Like, say, I mean, come on now. Tell me that's not crazy. Which one? Which point? Bro, the that point that, like, he didn't, he didn't even write the kill cops part, and he's the one who's, like, taking the... the all but the he report. understands the context of it, like... Oh, no, but he did, too. Art. No, yeah, but he, yeah, did but he I want to go over, like, I want you to understand why people are mad. I want them to understand what this art piece means. Why they mad at him? Because I don't think Adrian <laughs> gets why, why people are mad. No, I know why they're mad. That's the thing, is that I know why they're mad. And but what is how is your piece counteracting that? Like, what do you by mean counteracting? Making this piece, I wasn't kind of trying again. I wasn't trying to speak to those people. That was my reaction with my friend towards Dana, Sh Dana Schutz being oblivious to the reality of you know racism and the the structural like pressure to try to and like destroy anyone that tries to progress in this society. 
like we were just like fuck it like you know this is the way we live our life you know what i mean and like they're outrageous statements obviously it's art is for us it's like we don't fucking mean this shit like to the extent of like a severity like oh let's go and have sex with sluts and let's go and murder cops like no like it's just a street scene no it's just a street scene and there's more outrageous shit to, to that has been said dude yeah. like bro don't even get me See, started i don't think that's the argument to make that there's there, there's more outrageous no no i know this is outrageous to a lot of people yeah but you're also talking to someone that's speaking from like i'm an artist dude like i don't give a fuck about like what if you are going to be able to tell me that because I'm hurting your feelings over a painting rather than you caring about people actually being killed, like, I, I, there's no real empathy for me there. Like, I can understand why you're upset, and I can talk to you and help you realize why, like, you can be upset, but you, you want to understand why this, you being upset is pretty much insignificant in comparison to like what's really exactly. going on. What's funny is that this is the exact opposite situation you see between liberals and conservatives. Usually it's like the conservatives are like, you guys are upset for no reason. You're making something out of nothing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is hilarious because you see the same argument from the other side. Oh, because that's the thing is that they're both. Okay. So this is my thing. I'm not like, bro, I don't even like ideologies. I just like to live my life talking to people, making shit, and making other people, like, make shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and to, like, we're just trying to live out here, dude. Like, and if I have the keys for opportunities, which I do, like, I'm going to use those to lift, uplift myself and help others that were in my disposition to get there, you know? Like, and others that may not even be my disposition. I just want to share, like, an interaction and community that's beyond fucking race and social class and money. Because the thing is that... That shit is all, those barriers are meant for us to bicker. Like, it's so obvious. Like, the whole point about, and I'm going to go off on the, because I'm a poli sci minor. I'm, what I'm going to say is that, Talk like, that shit. you know, obviously Trump, like, took advantage of the communities that felt like, well, these people of color are getting advantages now, and so now we're left out, and there's no difference between us. And, like, in the, in the sense that, like, they're getting help and we're not. That's how a lot of people view it. Yeah. And that's only their world. That's the whole point. They're re and this shit is not even like, it's not really killing anyone. You know what I mean, Start no one's actually getting hurt. It's the message though. So my question is like, what's the limit to, to censorship and to what you can say as art before it becomes hateful? So like if you put... Well, no, don't even talk about hate because the president only hates. Oh, but I don't even want to get into that. Well, but no, but then if, 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 if you're going to vote for someone like that, like literally doing the if i w and that's not even like as disgusting as the shit that he said you know what i mean yeah like he said some like descriptive disgusting shit about not just people but like like the thing is he he's such an an old conservative type guy he doesn't say it say it he he kind of condones it and i think that's why he gets he gets off the hook sometimes but he does say it say it dog like what does he say like Bro. i've never heard him explicitly use the n-word or anything no, bro. explicitly racist. All the Mexicans are bringing over their rapists. That's what I mean. He, like, you know what no, I mean? not like, explicitly saying it, but he said that. No, that's, 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 that's pretty much like as explicit race. as it, you can be, bro. You're literally defacing a whole, like, a whole country. A whole well, he's country. saying people that are sneaking in. He's not saying the whole country. And that's where he's like, I'm not, I'm not saying. Like, that's why he'll post a thing that says, like, Trump Tower has the best Mexican bulls. I love Mexicans, you know, because he tries to counteract it. With what, something Bro. else. He's, and even if that's the case, that's the whole point. You have to recognize your power and not be a fucking idiot about it. And like, oh, he's the biggest idiot. Well, probably. then the people that voted him in, and that if you're going to sound like an idiot, then don't get at me for being. And if you think I'm an idiot, I don't give a fuck. And why should you care about what I'm making? And if you think I'm not an idiot and this is affecting you and you want to challenge that, by all means, you know what I mean? And make some art. Like I've been. Yours? Yeah, like do some fucking write something else. Do say like, yo, I'm a piece of shit. Like, great. Like, I really, bro. If you can make something out of that, it means I moved you. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? As long as I get a conversation with you and get people thinking, like that's better than not doing nothing. So was that the overall like overarching goal? For that's you? my overall goal is just being an artist. Just get people to do shit. Get people to do shit and connect. To have a conversation. Bro, interaction. That's all that matters, really. You will never... And we're moving away from that. That's the scary part. It is. 
And then you see it. In an overly connected, super social world, we're moving away from talking to each other in, like, in person. And it's what's so easier to talk to each other like over the internet, to talk to somebody over Twitter. It's easy to, you know, talk shit on Twitter, Facebook. Oh, yeah, no. How much more constructive would it be for all those people who had an issue with you or what you're doing or all those people who even were in support of you to, to be able to just, like, reach out and to sit down and have a conversation, try to understand, like, the differing perspectives? You could do that, and it wouldn't be that hard to do that. It's hard, bro. It wouldn't be that hard. It's hard for them. It is hard. Yeah, for is them. it hard for them but because it don't have yeah. to be? It, because this is, they're afraid. The idea, and this is this was ingrained to whoever you know had you know whoever has power instill instills fear and structure that seems like a reality for the masses, right? That's just how that's what empires do, and the, you know we wouldn't be here if we weren't like everything we're at we're up to right now. What's happening right now would not exist if it weren't for the past, obviously. So everything has affected us to where we're at now. There's definitely a correlation. There's we're no, not just dropped into, onto the earth. Yeah, no, definitely not. So, like, you're telling me that you're going to... There's people that have been hating each other. What's the one thing that, you know, is universal? Poverty, right? 100%. 100% poverty. That's the core, bro. That's the... If you want to know the truth, fucking everyone... Dead ass, the, you should not even give a fuck about what I'm saying about like these crazy exclamations that are clearly paintings. What you should care about is the fact that nothing has changed. I, I beg to differ, bro. When what spectrum? I mean like for their daily life. For like, daily, what do you mean? Like for people of color? No, for everyone that's poor. I honestly, oh, for poor. Talking about poverty. Oh, poverty? Oh, yeah. bro, I think poverty is a much bigger issue than race. Well, I think well because it's it's because the thing is that it's a universe like that's a thing that connects people that, that's that going to be our generation's big thing i think i think that like uh like once we get all these baby boomers once they finally all like die bro, off and like bro, go I away think like, right now okay oh, sorry yeah i'm saying like once the baby boomers like finally like die and just like go away i think that the issue that we'll be dealing with a lot more like beyond like just handling race i think race is going always going to be an issue it's always going to be a hot topic of discussion but i really think that like, class discrepancies are going to be something that our generation is going to have to like really work to no. like navigate and be, like really well, we, figure we've out reached, in, the coming, we, in the coming years yeah because we've reached such a point of like a disparity like it's we don't even talk about it like on the news it's like they don't you know talk man, about you know this man jeff bezos got money back after taxes like Amazon, like, they, like I mean, maybe like that. Like, you know how that much fucking, money, like they, bro, like he's getting money back, like not paying like anything on the no. tax, bro. My like, problem that, with him, bro. How do you have so much money and do absolutely nothing with it? Because, that, bro, they want to. Like you just holding on. No, because on. it keeps the cycle rolling, bro. That's the whole point. Is like, bro, it's why do you, why do you think generational wealth? No, yeah, no, that's what it is. It's like the system collapses if we let if we help because if you uplift people people that get educated figure things out yeah that's just common you know and they know that that's why they're they've been trying to destroy all the education systems in inner cities that's why there's such a disparity there and who's there what the upper class who's trying to destroy oh no the people like i'm talking about like the, the higher the, no the high like i'm talking about like the one percent because they're the one bro you're telling me the man the richest man in the world is not controlling what's really going on I mean, through his company, yes. Bro, 100%. Money is what literally makes money it Money talks. Money no. talks beyond. Money is. It's a fact. Politicians are bought out by money. Oh, they're all lobbied to death. Yeah. And that's not just like in the United States. That's like a global thing. It's all about wealth and controlling masses to so make your vision come true. And people don't think about that. You think about interest groups and all that part they play. They're all American in collusion, politics. bro. They're they're all in collusion. That's the thing. Nobody, Look, no. I've been part of an interest group, so <laughs> I, I, I'm part of an interest group myself. Like, but you know, I'm in like a niche interest group. I'm in the prison reform group. I mean, that's mm. a different interest group. We're not like lobbying for like you know uh, to keep like cigarettes illegal. You know, to keep yeah. Americans getting like lung cancer and sh like that. Like, nah. I mean, it's a little, a little bit different. But the amount of power that interest groups have in America, unreal. No, yeah, no, be real. Like, because it, the thing is that we. The, but it's great though. You know, here's my. This might be a hot take, and somebody might have something to say about this. But like, the NRA is a pure example of like how great like citizen. Oh uh, yeah, no, citizen the, the, like the, unity, yeah, unity coming yeah. together like under a common umbrella and like to try to like promote and maintain an interest. The NRA is a prime example of like 
a uh, great interest group, you know, for like everything that they like do and everything that they like are like doing for a group to be able to still come to, to still to be able to walk to Capitol Hill and to say like, hey, like we need lighter gun legislation and whatnot in a world that is just full of, in an America. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's full of nightclub shootings, school shootings, transit shootings, you know, all this stuff. And to still have, like, a nation where, like, you know, oh, despite all of that, like, we oh, our Second Amendment, you know, we hold it, like, near and yeah. dear to our hearts. That's crazy. And that really shows the power of, like, what people can really do, like, well, once yeah. they come it's together. Insti instilling, educating. And it, what's worse than ignorance is false education. Oh, don't get me started. Bro, that. that's the thing is that it becomes a reality. And, you, and if it makes you feel good, you're going to want to stay in it no matter what. Right. And you know that. In Give your me brain, an example, bro. Like, bro I, racism is exactly what that. It's superiority. It well, makes you feel. I think it's feel... more demonization. I think it's people position themselves against something else to lift themselves up. And I think, I mean, that's why Trump won the race. Well, yeah, no, it's called scapegoating. Trump won the race because yeah. the electoral college. That's true too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but right. back to interest groups, bro. I mean, that's true about the NRA. How it's great that that can happen. But then, I, what I'm, about tell people them, without no money? We, tell, in no way are we supporting the NRA. Yeah, no, right right in no about way. That. Are we but that's. But we like, live in a system where that's yeah, possible. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. But we're saying like, good job, good work for them. And like the, like the Tea Party is like another like organization. I say, think like, just seeing people come no together. Yeah, them, yeah, come together. <laughs> uh, aside from their, uh, you know, whatever backgrounds or whatever, if they're willing to like agree on something, like. Why don't people have more cookouts anymore? Like, just like come have a barbecue or some shit. Like, I, mean, I grew up in the Midwest. We don't really do black parties and all that type of yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, I wish they had some of those things up here. Like, those things. Like, you would see everyone there. You know what I mean? Like, that's a community building event. You just go down, eat food that everyone likes. You talk. Yeah. Simple. And then, like, if you find someone that, like, you know, have some. Oh, I'm selling some art. Like, that's just how communities build. You know what I mean? And we need to get back to that because we're we're reaching a point where we're becoming so subordinate to taking in everything and not really trying to grasp it in a deeper sense and really think about it is no just take it all right that's in my brain now and you don't even really question it you don't question what you're being fed mm -mm. So and what i'm what i'm trying to say is like these pieces they're funny to me because they weren't you know I, I wasn't even trying to be a political artist that's the funny thing bro i'm a i talk about existentialism uh geometry spirituality and physical objects in relation to space. Like, I'm thinking about, like, real physics shit. Like, I, I loved math, and I took, I loved physics when I was in high school. I couldn't do it here, man, nah, not in college. <laughs> that shit's different. But, um, like, I don't, like, painting, like, stuff like that, like, that's just, like, you know, that's just one blip. Of who you are. Of who I am. And this is not, like, bro, I'm not gonna, I don't feel bad for this at all. I'm sorry. Like, this, like this shit is, like, if anything, it's great, bro. Must this is end. what an artist... Well, I was talking yeah. to him. This is what an artist wants. This is the... You, you, like, you achieve the goal. You got people talking. You yeah. piss people off. You got people on your side. Like, yeah. I mean, like, what else are you... What else is your eyes supposed to do beyond that? Now you shit. You might as well just sell it. <laughs> we'll sell it to one of the conservatives. Bro, right. I would love for them to... Yo, if I will sell the piece to whoever wants to burn it. There you go. I will do that. I will give it to you. You can burn that shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right? I made that shit in four hours. <laughs> I'm not even playing. Okay? You can have it. You can burn it. You can hang it up. Write shit on it. I don't give a fuck. But it's going to cost you something. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> it's going to cost you something. Should we, should we get this back on like a wide ride? Do you think? No, I think it's good. Is this good on the set? Yeah, we're chilling. Good on the set? Oh, my bad, shit. Bree. We were just, we just talking questions in there. Shout out, Bree. Great director. Bree is a great director. Bree. All right, so like... Let's move away from like a little bit of like move away from like the piece a little bit. Let's talk a little oh. bit more about you. Like I heard you say something about you, like your spirituality and that playing like a part in your role, like you yeah. said, like the physics and like geometry. So tell me about your spirituality. So how, how's your spirituality like influenced so, your work, influenced your life? Like you know. Well, I have to say like all right. Well, I feel that you know for me, everyone is like not destined, but everyone is good at something. Like, I know I'm good at talking to people and being social. Like, I know, like, I might be better than that than I am an artist. You know what I mean? Like, I just know how to talk to people, like, and I know how to present and, like, articulate when I can or when I need to. And, like, some people are just really good at, like, fucking making tables and shit. You know what I mean? 
Um, I think whatever, if whatever you find passion for, like, I think you should continue to do that. Like, and for me, it was painting and, and drawing and shit like that. And so in terms of spirituality, I think about my body as like, I think about like reincarnation and, you know, as a, you know, being a Latino, what does that mean? To certain people, that just means like, you're just some sort of brown person like the person that's uneducated uneducated and doesn't know the history to be honest i don't even know your race bro bro that's the point bro that's what exactly what i'm getting at is that latino was not a race what is it bro it's a culmination it's it's a culture yeah it's, it's a latin derivative latino you're you know of latin descent you know that means brazilian as well okay because portuguese but if you're hispanic then it's like spanish descent but regardless you know you have so many people you have the indigenous population that was there first native americans or yeah yeah okay. the yeah the native americans um then you have the europeans obviously that came in and you know pillaged the shit out of it and then you had the slaves from africa yeah that came from you know west africa and now we have a melting pot that's exactly what latin america is and the thing is that so you have people that look like me people that look like you and look like you and we all live together, bro. It's crazy. Not yeah, and I that all the Brazilians, bro. There's so many people in Brazil that look like me. I was actually read that, yeah. I read that Brazil, like after like you don't, Africa, see, people like don't even Brazil, know about yeah. Brazil has the I'm highest concentration of black people outside of Africa. That's yeah, dope. yeah. yeah. Like, no, for like that's the thing. People don't understand. Like a Latino could look like anything. Like I'm dead ass. Like I dated a girl my sophomore year. Her name was Elise. Like she's Dominican. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, she was a part of um, ABC. Because, you know, she identified with that. But she, like, said, she's like, oh, yeah, but I'm Dominican. What's you know ABC what I mean? for outside viewers? Uh, Allegheny, Allegheny call it, what is it? Uh, as, as association for of black, black cult culture. culture. Advancement for black culture. Advancement for black culture. Bree, can we get that uh, fixed out? Here we go. <laughs> ABC and the advancement of black culture. Uh, student organization here that do good things. No, yeah, for sure. And, you it's know, ABC. there's some, like, I have a cousin that looks like, just like you, bro. And he's like... You guys come from the same gene line. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, people I think you're white, to be honest. I mean, I Bro, I could pass head. for, like, mad shit. I could pass for Italian, Greek, fucking Jordanian. I've got, you know, you remember Hamza? Oh, bro, yeah, yeah. he came up to me speaking Arabic, bro. He thought I was from Jordan. <laughs> that's hilarious. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I that's that's the power that I have, I think, low key, is that I can, I have the ability, and not just because of, you know, my culmination of, like, heritage and or ethnics, you know. It's, but dude, all right, I'm going to give you a breakdown real quick. Break it down. All right. Parents got divorced, right? I'm the parents, you know, what, <laughs> crazy, <laughs> two crazy artists got together and realized that this shit is cra too, way too crazy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so my dad had two kids prior to he met my mom because he was in the military. And he was stationed in Panama, got married there, went to Germany, had his two kids with that woman that was from Pan okay. Panama, and then went back to Arizona and then back to New York. And then they got a divorce. My dad went back to undergrad to finish his degree in art and school of visual arts in new york city my mom just happened to transfer from fit her her junior year and my, my they ended up becoming studio assistants blah 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 my mom had me when she was fairly young like i think around her early 20s my dad was just hitting 30 so he was like there was a bit of an age gap so obviously whatever that happens i have two older brothers they're panamanian and puerto rican all right they look more like me you know what i mean and then my mom met someone and he was from Baltimore, Maryland, and he was also an artist. And so I have little brothers that are literally black and Ecuadorian. You know what I mean? And I, I have to worry about them. You know what I mean? Like, those, I raised those kids for two years. You got to worry about them. You got to worry about yourself, too. Bruh, obviously, but, like, the thing is, see, but like he said, I can pass, you know what I mean? And I'm, I recognize that. Like, I know. Even though, like, I've, for some, like, people can choose. You know, they pick and choose what to look at. Yeah, it's true. I, at least I can move about and not automatically be like, and I know that's a thing, especially in certain conservative areas. And I'm like, I can't not speak about like, you know, I can't stay idle. That's what a lot of artists do is like, they want to make shit and the stuff that I make, which is like existentialism and like sacred shit is like, but then when I'm put in this position by a community, 
Am I doing a disservice if I ignore it? Of course. That's how I feel. But then at the same time, I'm giving them the power to say, like, I am being defined by your perception of me. Well, I think that art is a great way to bridge people um, of all cultures. And I think that art is like, I mean, culture, race, religion, no matter what, like political views. But I think like something like this is a great piece, like to sit at this table where we're at. We're like here sitting like a damn rainbow, you know, right here. <laughs> like a plethora of colors on stage. And so I'm really thinking like we should use this as like an opportunity to like maybe like talk about like the state of like race in America and like use it as an opportunity to like learn. Because like you're saying that like you feel as though like you're a man of color. You have the opportunity to like, you know, pass in like certain like instances for like, you know, you said, a, you know, a number of uh, different like races and whatnot and then like colt and i like we're sitting here like we're different ends like, of the spectrum great, yeah great friends different ends of the spectrum so mm. you know he white and I'm, well, you know I'm, I'm, that's I'm a black. good point bro yeah and so it's just like how do you think that you know beyond just like using artwork like what do you think are like other ways that we can work to have these conversations about race politics like religion without one to rip you know each other's like heads off with this being like cool with this meaning with each other and being able to like talk and like learn because I feel like this right here is perfect. It's a great learning experience. Yeah. And, all, like, and, he, and, and I feel like even though like I can get like a little like, you know, we, we get a little passionate or whatever, but I'm not, you that's know, a, that's fine. And that's you fine. Need, yeah. The passion. And look, yeah, the no, passion. yeah, no, because like people want to. Yeah. But I, I think to answer that, like this is what, like I said earlier, interaction, human interaction. That's all you need. That's why, like, I've been talking to artists from Philly and like I'm trying to go down there and do some like like real differences like i'm trying to go down there you know make some artwork you know i'm going down there with a couple of friends you know from seattle from new york you know some from chicago um you know and some people from here you know and we're trying to get like housing with each other and you know eventually make a compound and basically in the long term you know we want to be able to be a cohesive like a uh, group of people that make dope shit together it's and like a nice, uh, collective no yeah a nice collective originally and then we're gonna try to you know as a team as an organization go do community work in the town you know what i mean and just like just make a difference bro and then like talking to people like getting to know everyone in town and like linking people up with events like oh yeah i did this for you oh i'm having an opening um you should come down you invite everyone you know and see in like, this piece though i feel like I almost did the opposite instead of bringing people together you have all that a complete Divide but see, people. well, whose fault was that? Like, Definitely. was it mine for making it? Nah. I decided to crop that shit out, dog. That's, true. That's the thing. She, this is the thing. You, she chose. She chose to frame it like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, she knew what she was doing. She's like, it's, it's look at this. It's, you think it's more individual? Yeah, th this shit right here is such a small part of the piece, too. I mean, it's like, a corner, you know bro. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a small corner. But, like, I mean, like, I mean, it does say kill cops, but like, I mean, mm. that's just, that's, that's not, like, that's not fully but again, I, of what the artwork is. Yeah. Again, but you're, so you're, and not just that, but also, like, again, why, it doesn't make sense to me why you won't talk. Like, talk. Ah, dude, it makes perfect sense. Okay. I was, like, scared. back to Brian's point about how, like, race today. I think in our generation, bro, like, our kids, I feel like are going to be facing that way less. Because, mm. like, up here in Allegheny, in our little bubble, even in, like, the north in general, bro, like, I don't experience firsthand racism mm -hmm. ever. Like, honestly. It's because you're white, Cole. But I go down yeah. south. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of black friends. I mean, I grew up in a black yeah. household. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if you guys know that, but, like, I grew up in a black household. So, like, I never experienced it. So, I think, like, you know, there's not much racism in America. It's, it, it's, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, oh, you got black Well, people. yeah, I don't want to. I went down south, bro, and completely changed my completely perception. Di you go down south, bro. Bro, Going it's down south, it's like you will literally go to a different country. Tree, yeah. That is the crazy part about America. 200 miles. People, you don't understand. When you go, like, I, li I grew up in Ohio my entire life, but, like, my mother's mother and her father, they're both from, like, Mississippi. And I'm talking tiny town Mississippi, bro. Like, I mean, like, off the grid type, you know, like, tiny little towns. Yeah. And you go down there, it's like you go to a completely different world. It's like you're in a whole new place, bro. Like, you see things down there, and you're just looking like, people live like this? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, really, people, like, that looks like a lean-to. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's crazy. It was the same, same stuff, like, I mean, originally, like, around here. Like, I mean, we're living, like, nicely, like, here. Bro, take your ass over to West Virginia. 
Oh no! I, I just go, go, I go, went go, I go. went down there for like yo that shit's rough. Go bro, go yo, I some, went, some of the stuff in like Appalachia. Bro, bro. no, that's exactly where. That's, so people even know pe- that's poverty. Bro, high poverty. High poverty. poverty. No, bro. I'm a yo. So I'm a Bonner scholar. Like people, you know, I, people still forget that, and which means I do community work in Meadville, bro. I've worked in the market house <laughs> up yeah. here. Market all right, house. like I worked. Good at, market house. Bro, I worked up in the gallery. You, you feel me? And I spent a summer here, my freshman summer, I spent here in Meville, and I worked here, and guess what? I also worked at the, the project housings where they had mothers that were on, like, uh, heroin and methadone, you know what I mean? And I, the last week. Yeah, yeah. bro, I, I, like, I, you know, so why the fuck would I want to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here in your community doing, and, like, work to they don't sure. see that though, bro. They of course not. They see this little snippet on Facebook of course. And, and but pisses again, them off. No, it's demonizing. What, that's what I'm saying. So like, I I'm getting backlash for something that, you know, again, they chose. They could have taken a picture of the whole piece. And even if they, I would have been like, all right, if you're still mad and you took the whole piece, like, that's still some justice. But it's the that action. Of course, that's that's an added layer of like they don't. I don't want them to know they didn't more. Want to know this of course, they want like, to just frame their, their agenda. agenda. What yeah. they what they want to do, and I know, and I and I know news outlets do that in general, and that's why, like, we, I know our generation, like, for us, I know it's way less of a problem. Clearly, oh, yeah, we're talking because we know how fucking stupid that shit is. The people that are getting mad are the fucking old people that are the, still on. F- the baby boomers won't die. That's the problem in society. I took up the hot take. The ba- that, bro. I can't say that. Bro, <laughs> bro my grandfather's a baby boomer. Bro, I still think like, they should. Die. I mean, like, no. I mean, but, but like in, ser- in all seriousness, like they're selfish. They're the people that got us in the situation that we're in now, and those are the same. The people, people. before them put them in that situation, and then they're the ones that are blaming us for this situation now here, though. Like you know that we're like you know what I mean like uh, yeah. I don't think we're like personally. Between us, I don't think we're in a bad situation. No, 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 no. We can be in the same We're not. You know who's. We're, we're Gen Z. Like, yeah. We're not millennials. That's some yeah. like, common misconception. Like, we're millennials. I mean, no, we're not. We're Gen Z. We're Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah we I believe are Gen we're Gen Z. Z. Yeah. Like, millennials, they, they, they have a worse situation than like us. I think people are probably like, like mid 20s, early 30s, right about now. That situation, I, I think they're. They, they got kind of fucked up. They, yeah. got, they got a shorter end of the stick than we do. I have a lot of hope. For us, the only thing I'm worried about with like our generation is everybody's just so doped up and like high all the it's time. The, you know what it is? It's the because there's such an influx of information these days on the devices that your body gets used to dopamine into. Like I said earlier, like dopamine intakes, and people get you know at a young age, like when you're being fed all that information, you don't allow yourself to be content with your own thoughts because you're you're not using it you're just intaking information yeah so when you are having a bad time like you don't know how to cope like you take drugs and that's why everyone and i know in college is very common like people take opioids you know what i mean and that's like you know what i like that's something that's been really big that's been happening recently in society what is that is that from just the way we grew up we were all, all over the internet we always had our devices there's something that no there's something that there's some rewiring of the brain with that like people aren't Back then, you didn't have devices like that. You just be, you would have to figure out and you would have to use your brain. You know what I mean? Like, you would have to converse with other individuals and actually see what's happening. The thing is, like, the internet, we are not prepared for so much that the internet has to offer. People don't understand how much the internet is, like, shaping and, like you said, like, rewiring the brain. Like, not in in addition to, like, all, like, you know, like, the drugs and whatnot that are, like... (laughs) <laughs> no, we're, good we're, points today. I mean, yeah, I'm glad we actually got to talk about this, have a good discussion. Yeah. And I, I also, like, just to, like, you know, and it's like, again, like, people need to recognize that I'm not speaking for everyone. And I think that's what's happening. You know what I mean? I'm not speaking for all artists. I'm not speaking for all of Allegheny. I'm not speaking for all people that have even been in my situation because I'm me. Not to say that I'm special, but I am, like, I'm, I, my work is my work. You know what I mean? Chosen one. Yeah. Martyr. If, if whatever happens, happens. happens. Right. Allegheny's you came on here non anonymous. Seriously, take care of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I definitely. Yeah, no, I definitely will. You know, I, I'm not worried about this shit, dog. Like, I got like I, I have so much more happening right now on the low low, and I know I gotta talk to Ron Cole about some shit because I'm trying to trying to push for a real panel discussion. I want him to sweep this shit under the rug. We have to really have That's the students the talk. Doing, right the talk. Oh, I know they are, and Ron Cole doesn't know, and I hope this isn't you know, but I have. not what? I have him by the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's wrap it up. Yeah, we'll edit that. We'll cut that one out. All right, so let's get it, man. Thank you, everybody. Don't say thank you to Adrian. 
Thank you for coming in. Thank you for telling your story. Much appreciated. Uh, go check out this article of the campus. Uh, last week's edition should still be out on the shelves around here. Yep. And um, okay, that's the all nighter. All nighter. Brian Hill. <laughs> Cole Thanks, Buzzard. Bro. Adrian Velez. All nighter podcast forever. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs>